Alright, what's up everybody? Welcome back to... My world on Occupy Mars. So again, this is Bad Player 03, aka Danimal Daniel Jobber. And, uh... Well, they've, uh... It's been a while since my last episode, and I haven't played a lot either, but I was playing a little bit again today to get to where I wanted to be for the episode. Um, yeah, the new content is still pretty good for the early game, and that's uh, what I'm looking forward to demonstrating. Um, but also, they've uh, put a new patch, too, and I'm on the uh, test realm now, or the test uh, version, where you can actually unlock and print uh, bottles, which is the... And, and they fixed some bugs, too, but, but this one's kind of cool. A piano people have been asking about it for a long time. Me, I personally, you know, think that once you get printing bottles, the, the game just becomes no more about survival and more just about, you know, doing what you want. But, um, before, to get the extra bottles, you had to build the, uh, the, the big heavy rover. Now you can, uh, do that, or you can focus on just getting to the well expansion, which gives you oxygen bottles in the materials tree, or the well tanks, which gives you the CO2 bottle, or H2O bottle. So obviously this will probably do it all unlock next. Although storage cabinet still has some use as well. But a lot of the other base building things I won't need till later anyway, so... Oh. Why are we not... What is going on? There we go. <laughs> I don't know why that uh, stopped streaming for a second there. Anyways, yes, it's uh, yeah, I'm not sure why. I started playing some old content on my uh, my stream. I don't know why, or at least on my the one I have running on my phone. Anyways, lots has happened uh, um, since uh, we la I was last uh, playing. Big ones, uh, the map for map wise. I had gone out and explored the area where my alpha base is in uh, my other game. So I hit these two bases, but then I worked my way up to here. You see, I built a, a well here. Basically, this is going to be the probably the future site of Alpha Base again, most likely. And then well, I guess you can't see it, but up north there's a couple of uh, derelict bases that I uh, tore some stuff down and grabbed some more um, blueprints. I also had to get some emergency food, so I nipped down hitting uh, these two bases here, or just basically taking food from them and uh, the blueprints. But with all the blueprints I've got, I've unlocked quite a bit, and that's uh, what I wanted to do before I did come back to the game. Um, uh, botany we haven't done yet. Electricity, we've got a few points, so we got uh, more efficient panels. And of course we got the battery pack update and the well, battery rack update, which we're, gonna, we're gonna, probably going to make us build a second uh, workshop attachment and of course the uh, upgrades for the transformer which is so important so now basically we can build the power we need to run run the building solidly 24 7 so that we can really start growing plants and I got beetroot seeds too I'll show that in a minute but materials tree unlock the 3d printer which I'm looking forward to finally building of course survival capsule was a big game changer and living capsules. We can actually build a bathroom and a uh, bedroom if we want to. At this point, though, we have the sink and we have the bed, which are the most important parts, so they're not essential. And under the mechanics tree, I just unlocked the circuit box, which is cool. I'll show you. And then also, I also unlocked that uh, box you see in the middle of the area here. Air compressor, jackhammer 2, grinder 2, which is important, because now we can, we're able to grind solar panels and get lots of solar cells. Obviously, you have to have grind decker two and grinder one, and still haven't got the blueprint for AT. No, no, I unlocked the blueprint. Oh, I haven't got the uh, small built-in accumulator yet before I can build my own ATVs. But anyway, so that's where we're at. And as I said, we uh, we found some beetroot, which uh, 
I have stored up my other plants right here in the uh, my new storage box. Here, this is the other storage box you make. Semi useful. I mean, as I was saying, you um you can pick it up if you pick it up and you put it in your inventory. It ends up putting all these items back in your inventory. So I couldn't destroy this box right now and put it in my inventory because it has too much stuff in it. So basically, it's going to stay here until I can empty it out. So it's not like it's portable storage. What is portable storage, though, is the circuit board box, which I'm really, which is really cool. All these circuit boards. Oh, I didn't want to put that crappy one in there. I'll have to here nah, put that one in the box here and exchange it because that one's got to be repaired. And I don't really feel like the going through the repair system right now. Here. But anyways, yes. Yeah, so now we have all our circuit boards with us, and when we go on an expedition to grind down bases. We'll be able to empty it out in one of these storage, and then we'll have plenty of room to to fit, get the new ones. So that's a really big game changer. Um, still have two of every item. I mean, of every major tool, which is important. An extra battery now. Enough food to hopefully get us through to my plants grow. So, anyways, without further ado, we are ready to rock and take this game to the next level. I've already built the buildings for the. Um, for the plants. Don't have a 3D printer and a uh, fridge yet, but we need more power before we do those anyway, so let's first deal with the power situation. Only 9.30, plenty of time, make sure helmet's on. Yeah, I was, I just saw it. Now we can finally build the items that we need to get our power system in line. So first off, there's no point in Expanding power until I can expand my transformer. So let's do that right now. Transformer upgrade. Should we need one for now, I think? but oh well. So now we can build eight more solar panels, but to make that worthwhile, let's expand this battery here. Taking a long time to do this, that's for sure. Expand it two levels, so that should be enough, I think. So we're not gonna produce ridiculous amounts of power until we have the medium solar panel. Oh, right, you gotta build it first before you can put the next one on. Then we grinded down those a lot of solar panels so we have lots of room or lots of solar cells to build these things. Alright, yeah, two should be enough, I think. Just need enough power to we can always build another one too. Right now we need enough power to run the uh, the base with all the amenities we need. And so, oh boy, all our power is gone. We have to get some power early in the morning. I mean, I guess I guess the solar panels will charge the base anyways. And then we're going to add more. So let's quickly go build those two new things I need. this one up. So first, fridge. Oh wait, we don't have room for, we don't have a fridge or a storage yet. Ah, <laughs> never mind. Because we, uh, we haven't unlocked any greenhouse and we saw the other one there. Right, right, right. So there's nothing I can do. I can build the battery rack, but I'm not gonna stay there anyways. I guess I could build it temporarily. For them, but then I'm gonna have to destroy it when I get my fridge. Well, why not? Let's see what this makes. What all this stuff can do. First off, let's move our printer into here, so we can rely less on, or virtually not at all, on the uh, escape pod. Ah. 
course it's gonna be dark now. In here, let's then we can charge our then we can charge our suit in here for the time being. And they added some really good stuff to make the um, workshop the most important building again. You don't need a canteen or at this point really even a headquarters. How much power do we need overall? So we need to generate 23 power, and that's oh, that's not even counting what we're going to need for um. If we can do it, was 30 power enough to grow? No, we have to get somewhere up around 40. Okay, we need to build a bunch of solar panels. We did get more efficient panels now, so that um the pa the, pa the panels we do make. No, they're all small, should pump out more power. So, alright, let's go make some solar panels. turbines but really with each only generating one power it's just not worth it or two power I mean solar panels are still where it's at until we get the large wind turbine and then there might be some uses particularly especially standalone things like uh, antennae and uh, the maybe the um, maybe the big crusher I don't know it might not be enough power to be efficient I don't remember what it takes for the big crusher I know it's more than a small solar panel so maybe it's not uh, the way to go Remember, we have to plan for as much power in the daytime and at night, so we need to need less than half of what we generate. So, 12 more I've added. I'm going to try to squeeze one more in here. too tight. And I guess not. One there, I guess. Oh, I think I had one there for a second. One there. One there. solar cells on me. I was lurking around and came across your stream and maybe I can help you out with your Twitch custom graphics even more. I don't know, maybe. I've, to be honest, I'm really just a dabbler at this point. I mean, if I figure, if you could tell me what I'm missing. What's your Discord? I, I don't uh, I don't use Discord at this point. I'm uh, I don't I mean maybe it's silly but I don't trust it. You, you can email me at uh, danimaldanieljobber at gmail.com if you want. That's about as uh, as much uh, 
communication of that sort I do. But if you're offering to sell me a service, you're probably barking up the wrong tree. I'm not, uh, I don't make money from my work. I just do it for fun at this point. So I'm not really investing money in uh, what I do, just enjoying it. But if you're offering free advice, well, feel free to email it to animaldanieljobber at gmail.com and I'll check it out. I get it. There's a lot of people who roam around looking for customers. Don't blame you. It's a tough market. Cold contacts, a.k.a. spam, or... Probably one of the few ways to really get attention sometimes. Suit power, 50%. Gotta charge my suit. This way? Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Sloppy, but that's okay. I'm like Archie Andrews' car. Just sloppy, man. Just sloppy. All right, this will fill up my current transformer upgrade. Can I move, please? be hopefully lots of power to get the expansions done that I have currently in mind. Mostly I need to get crops growing because need to generate food and botany points. Just gotta duck down. Be, be a short person to not hit your head on the top of the panels. All right, last one. Hopefully, we'll free up some inventory space. All right, now all our power. Well, we want to put more power into the main unit because we don't need... Well, actually, you know, 3.6 kilowatts of power is not bad. It'll charge our suit faster. So, yeah, let's go with... Uh, or maybe... This to 70. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, I really want to be over 70. Shame to not have much power to charge my suit, but... So slow. And it is because we only have 1.4 kilowatts of power coming out of it. I gotta turn the power up. Hopefully, this 
this extra power is doing the battery some good. That'll help our electronics tree finally get up at some points too because we've been kind of nerfing our power. I didn't want to build a second transformer just to destroy it again. So I was holding off expanding power until I had the upgrade. Oh, slow but sure. Oh, we don't have to do this anymore out here. Right, we gotta... Well, I still want to have it for emergencies. Actually, no, we don't need this at all. We can turn it right off for now because we got that power thing on the inside. Might as well pump all the power into the battery. Alright, let's see. So, I don't like to get that charged up, but... We do need a little extra power. Let me see we need it. 30? Let's go to 30 for now here. Type number. Let's see how that is. Because if that's it's less than half for now, which is good, it'll give extra power to charge the battery. And the battery will be able to handle the capacity overnight better. Not sure if we can keep it that way. Oh, I can. That was what I was hoping to get. So let's leave it that way for now. We can start... I think we can start growing crops now. And we want to get that going because... We really need to get food. Look at how hot we're on to drink. Drinky poo, as Dark Hilarity has me saying. Still love you, Dark Hilarity. I haven't uh, watched a lot of your streams lately because I'm uh, not into Subnautica as much. But okay, so we'll start with potatoes, of course. Oh, we should uh, turn on a little bit of power. This thing has never been used, so let's go one and a little water too. Oh yeah, that's something. Oh, we got lots of water pooled. But yeah, we're gonna have to build our water because eventually we're going to drain our supplies. As always, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ah, that was all I needed to get a point. <laughs> all right, now we got to turn this up so that they're incubating. And I guess I'll fire a little bit of power and water into the, the other table. So just 70.7 and 1.2. And here, let's uh, at least get this thing fired up for when these are done incubating. Ha, ah, good, much needed. And we get our first point in the tech tree of botany, which is our fridge. Oh, Karen, I've already. Technology access. I've already built that and uh Well, I'll leave the fridge for a little bit I'll let because we can uh, try this out, charge our suit. Available point for technological advancement. Again? Really? Uh, 
that's not the way to charge my suit. Oh, the port done. There's a port on it, right? So yes, no more I'm going to build the canteen for this. Plus you get the full power and a quick charge compared to that thing out there. Trouble is, as you can see, we've now filled up our workshop, which means we need another workshop. We're going to need another Timmy. Okay, so we don't want to talk about carrying potatoes, so let's... Uh, planting tool dropped off to for now okay so let's go quickly first and get what time is it it's six o'clock oh, power point oh yeah our power is going up a lot more now I don't know if I have anything I can put up though. Oh yeah, I do. More efficient DIY. Can't, oh, I can do that one. That's just roll for power though. More efficient suit battery, might as well. I don't have to charge your suit as much. Oh, I really need to eat. And at least we're, we're getting towards producing food now. Have to ration our food till then. Alright, and as well you see with the circuit box here, you can turn off uh, something, anything you don't need at any point in time. But I'm good. Everything else, everything here, oh, I get a tool charging while I'm running over to the uh, escape pod. I'm going to charge up our low torch. Or repair it. Hearing? Yeah. So here's hoping we got enough power to get through the night, but we might not. But if not tonight, then we'll definitely have it tomorrow. Tonight, to the night, tonight. All these beautiful stars in the sky from Mars. better than the camera from the light side of the moon in the 60s. <laughs> in 69. <laughs> well, I'm always fussing with the fact that why can't we see any stars? It's too bright and the cameras weren't good enough. Yeah, so we just want to bring our printing materials so that we don't need to come back. So we can probably well, we move our, uh, our CO2 tank and it's time for daddy bye. I don't know why I never used the system of putting a beacon on things. It's so much easier to find things at night than every other time, too. I'm curious how much power I have. Gotta get inside, it's gonna get cool. Stockpile 306 power, so yeah, that'll probably get higher tomorrow. We're gonna get higher and higher. Alright, let's drop these things into the 3D printer and then we can print them here from now on. And I'm only gonna always make do with one workshop. I didn't ever want to build this early, but now that I have to build two workshops anyways, may as well. There's nothing
nothing anyway. It's a shame that they didn't build any decorations. What, did they take away the lemons? Oh, I haven't unlocked them yet. Why does that look so... messed up? But anyways, we're at what? 6.65% Just babies I need to drop off, I don't think so no. Everything I need Oh, I need to grab my tool though That doesn't sound good <laughs> You grab the tool in your own time, Mr. Ah, what the heck, the grinder could use some, let's do it. So we, uh, have to stop and wait for it. Oh, perfect, you have to be. Making sure that was just fine. We're gonna do while waiting for the plant. Oh yeah, we gotta build the other we build another workshop. Hmm, do I have enough power for two? That's gonna be well I can I can uh, manipulate the uh, circuit circuit board right now. Circuit panel. What am I doing here? Oh well not yet. Right. Oh oxygen. Oh wait, I'll do that in the morning. Pretty soon we won't need uh, to rely only on the um, CO2 scrubber for oxygen. Yeah. Oh, come on. I wanted to put it away. Now I gotta fix the one tool. Now I gotta use the. That's a nice grind I took out of that, man. Whew. What a chunk. Alright. Oh yeah, let's sleep. We're good. We'll deal with everything else in the morning. Oxygen source external. Pretty late. As we're probably going to be tired early tomorrow, but that's okay. Tiredness never hurt anybody. Day has has begun. Oh, crap! Up up in my bed there, <laughs> like sticky notes and stuff. Okay, so as usual, we pop the helmet on and we change CO2 tanks. Suit pressurized. Helmet and CO2 We know the plants won't be done today. Or won't be ready even for the incubator or the for the hydroponic shelf today. Yeah. We can 
charge our suit indoors too. Without having to run all the way across to the canteen. Like in the old days. <laughs> fast because it's full power. At least faster than that port on the transformer. Oh, well, what are you doing? How did that happen? Putting the most back shouldn't move my feet. I'm playing a game and streaming. So? Now if you get extra batteries, you can store them in here and have them be fully charged, but that's not going to be permanent yet anyway, so... Okay, we better eat some food. Oh, jeez. We are going to get hungry soon. And not have enough. One or another, we need another workshop so we can work on beetroot, and then we can really. Oh, come on! What's going on here? Will you just go through? Dang it! Or sometimes do crap like that. The old fart. Once I put the new workshop on, I'm pretty sure you can't put workshops back to back. Oh, maybe you can. Let's try. I'm curious. Can two become one almost? Or oh, without an airlock, will that be a problem? I mean, really, once you're growing lots of plants, I can't see oxygen having any trouble filling both rooms regardless of whether they have an airlock. Waste power on a on the airlock, which is not necessary if it isn't necessary. <laughs> if that makes sense. What am I missing? Oh come on, cement! I thought I had plenty of cement. Why would I not have tons of cement? Oh, because I never bothered to print any, because I didn't think I would need it. Well, that's good, there's still... ...power, because the new... Th Why do you keep doing that? Open properly! The door's open half open, not, or not quite fully, for some stupid reason. And then you can't get through. I think they would have fixed that by now. Okay, we need cement. I need a tin, so let's make a uh, fifteen. Yeah. Keep a little bit of calcium for an emergency cement, but it's only 
nice to have a nice open 3D printer. Well, now we can find out what's going to happen. Can the two buildings fit together and function? Or are they going to be like two buildings back to back that have to have external exits? Shoot, I didn't even look to see which way the... Darn it, I don't want them to be opposite. Well, either way, I need to figure, I need to find out whether they connect together. But I think I may have to destroy this and turn it around. Oh no, there it is. Yeah, I wanted the two face the same direction. power to open the doors? I'm surprised. Hey, it worked! So the two buildings can just be together. <laughs> and even then, they still have oxygen. Oh, sweet. Double made her the queen of my double wide workshop. We just need 30. Oh, but we're, we're at the. Oh, we can build another transformer extension or if we need to. Fit a few more solar panels in. But. Well, I'm even thinking that's going to hurt the plants if we, if we start withering. Time to get rid of this, anyways. Dang it. here. Living in the fridge. And I'm going to have to get out there and make some and add more power. So right now we need Oh, gosh. So we're going to need like 40. So yeah, we're definitely going to have to build some build another extension and some more solar panels. Dang it. Give me time to get through it. Yeah, I think we're going to wait till we get medium solar panels to build a bathroom and a bedroom. Because we really are okay the way we are. What am I doing? Oh, I'm going to turn the power up to 40. Which means we're not going to have enough power get through the night anymore so we're gonna have to get out here and build more solar panels right away first I want to build the what? If I'm pumping in 40 power why aren't the doors opening Just needed a minute, maybe? To 
realize you had power? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay. So now let's go over here. battery rack not sure why this spot <laughs> to be honest it's rather arbitrary because and once I built the incubator for the beetroot space we need for anything else. And might as well just build the hydroponic shelf anyways. Doesn't use any power until we power it up. Gonna throw some stuff in it. And we want to at least throw in some precious beetroot into here. Probably should get the process going. Theoretically, we could slow down and only use one hydroponic shelf. Darn, I can't wait for medium solar panels. <laughs> okay, we gotta be really careful because we have a lot of beetroot. If something bad happens, we can end up withering it away. Six or five, so yeah. We better just do three to start. One, two, three. Then we have two emergency ones. We can charge our suit as needed here. We just don't produce enough power, so. We're gonna build more solar panels. Not quite three o'clock. Plenty of time. Oh, shoot. I hope I have enough room to build another extension, or I may have to destroy a solar panel. Just need one more. Once we get medium solar panels, we'll be we'll have one more than we need, anyways. Shoot. Make sure I can't find a spot. Uh, 
no matter where I go. Darn, darn, darn. I shouldn't have built this solar panel so close. Practice my mantra. Wata Gufayam. Oh no. I need to hit four, I need to hit three. I need to grind it down. solar panels. Oh, come on. Why is there no spot to fit these in? Medium solar panels are such a nightmare. Or small, I mean, I guess mediums aren't any more of a picnic. Plugged in. Sooner it'll start to generate more power in the battery.
Oh, I'm out of power cable. Still have power. Make some. They don't go all the way back to the pod this time. the night now. we get through the night then we really don't need to generate any more power. I mean, wouldn't hurt to have a little extra. To help the sandstorms, but Really, right now, it's about getting through nights so that we can confidently grow lots of crops. Once I finish this one, then we're going to leave it alone for now, I think. Pumping in. 
we can drop that to 38, can't I? Yeah, I don't want to mess with the... I want to build another battery extension, but I want to do that tonight. Shake it up. I dance all night. Two percent. How are we doing for solar cells? Thirty five, not bad. Pretty soon we won't be building any more solar many more solar panels. Don't really want to have to run to another base. suit charging, that's for sure. Tear it up for morning, I mean. <laughs> Alright. Get some sleep, sorry. Seven and eight. Wonder if we're gonna have plans for the ring during the night. Big thing is we're gonna soon because more power to account for the incub or the the hydroponic shelves. I 
I will only be running one or the other for beat root until we have a good emergency supply of beet root. Potatoes, we're going to run both. Yeah, as long as you have enough food to sleep, as long as you want to sleep, you don't have to worry. It's when you can't get through the night that you got to start worrying. Stop! Why don't you turn it off? So stubborn that sink. It never turns it off when you click. And it never just half the time it doesn't respond. Ugh. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> I trapped myself behind the door. Oh, that door is annoying. But I always want to put it in the corner there for some reason. Oxygen. I'm gonna the wazoo. Yeah, one thing I learned from playing the survival or the, the madman survival mode is food is something you eat to allow you to sleep. <laughs> During the daytime, you might as well just be hungry. If your health starts to go down, you can always use a medikit. But it's a pain in the butt to not be able to sleep at night. things. Bench, I'll need a workbench. How are we doing here? Just about ready to transplant. Yeah, that's the funny thing is Except for I'll only be keeping my seeds and my food in the fridge now because I have this.
Oh, I need more efficient DIY first. Okay, we definitely want this now. Oh, wow. So we we just need one more point and we'll have medium solar panels. Ah! That's a game changer, big time. I was going to build the... Uh, maybe the uh, suit more efficient or whatever, but... Yes, getting close to medium solar panels is huge. We can get rid of all the stupid little medium when they're small ones. Okay. Right. My helmet's on. I gotta go out and build some battery extensions. sure all the solar panels are hooked up. Yep, all built, all hooked up. We are generating how much power? 102 kilowatts. Take here. Eventually, that's going to have to be full, full length. Is that all? Well, that might already be full length. there so we're going to eventually have to move that solar panel. Actually once we get medium solar panel so it won't matter. We won't need all these panels. Right, and that'll happen soon because we're producing a lot more power. There we are 102 so let's get this up to 45. Oh wait. No let's do, wait till we need it because we want to get that battery charged. or in a seed generator soon anyways.
start. Plants can wither for a few moments without any issues. You just gotta keep an eye or keep it under control. I hate to let my plants wither. This is already killing me, but <laughs> I really don't want to have to run into the power regulator twice either. I'm gonna throw some more potatoes in here. That beetroot comes along good because then we can make some really good food right off the bat. After we munch on a little potato just to stay alive. Plus, we gotta genetically modify some seeds soon enough. Next episode is gonna be a lot more guardian I gardening, gardening, I think. Hopefully I can do a little bit of base grinding and stuff in the meantime. There we go. Fire this up. So we need 1.3 more kilowatt hours. That's not that bad. It's mostly water we got to deal with. So now we're using... We're still producing a little more than we need, not by much. Oh, we're gonna need to build a pump and some more wells. That's a given. Okay, let's do some more. Let's plant some more potatoes. We have stupid amounts of potato seeds. <laughs> the heck how did they get down there that was weird we got lots of solar cells nice <laughs> so many in there. Yeah, we don't even need to genetically modify seeds at all for a while because we want to, but we don't need to. running. Okay, so how much power? Thirty-eight point three two. So forty is enough for now until I build my seed 
processor and my food producer. There we go, we're good. Potatoes all around. And we'll start the botany points will start rolling in. This is probably another day sometime tomorrow probably. Yeah, they're not even. Okay, well, I probably should get some sleep. Maybe two o'clock. Oh well, still got a past time, so time to eat. Well, that's it. Wow. That's all the food I'm gonna have until until those potatoes are done. Unless I go off on my own. Shoot, I should take my helmet off. Oh well, let the oxygen fill anyways. Now that the potatoes are in the incubator, or in this hydroponic shelf, they will start producing tons of oxygen. My double long base. One of the new changes that makes it practical. Oxygen. Really, there's not much more to do but sleep until potatoes are done. If I can. soon enough too and then we'll be on the way to really good food. So now we should be able to take my helmet off. We should be able to sleep till morning. sleep until 12 o'clock because we need to kill time. And soon I won't be able to sleep anymore until we have the potatoes ready. Almost. The power should be holding up just fine. Oh yeah, we can't um we have to keep using the potato seeds that we have so many of until we get these 
seed modification and genetic modification unlocked. But that's that just happens once you get to this point. It's nice you don't have to go outside at all. That is the best change. You can do everything inside. That makes me happy. So yeah, that's the quality of life changes. more hours of sleep and we'll be there. We will be there when you call our name. Just call our name. We'll be able to wrap up an episode soon once the Tito's are done and the beetroot is transplanted. I think that's pretty good product productivity for an episode to show off the things you do differently with the new expand new content. So just a couple more hours of sleep, which is good because I'm starving. I'm a starving Marvin. Logical point to any second now, which will be my botany. Yep, which means our potatoes are done. Oh. oh well. Actually, that's rough on the on the beetroot because it won't be done yet. But oh well. We have CO2, we'll be fine. Well, first off, I got a little bit of food left. Let's get these beetroots transplanted. I really want to get beetroot on the road to growing. There's only three of them, anyways. Right, I forgot. <laughs> I might as well leave it powered up because it's not very, it's only 0.3 power. What's the point of shutting it down? And the water's not all that much. But we'll see. Seven. Beetroot is on the way, and we now finally have food to eat. Enough room to harvest it? Mostly. Right. Lock some of these tech tree things. Processor. And then we will do Technology genetic engineering. Nice. We can build the final facilities. But look, we'll wait till after the um, the dust storm because. Take any chances. Well, we made it. We survived with the food we had. Oh 
Shush. Shush. So I'm just going to eat what we need. Back to full. Ah, it's good to have fresh food. I could make the food processor and combine them, but it doesn't really make a difference. It's quicker. Okay. All right. These in the fridge for now. Now, are we ready to transplant these? No. Uh, they take longer. Now, that's another episode, I guess. It'll turn off the hydroponic shelf for now. That much easier on the recovery. Nighttime. That's it. Yeah, yeah, just sleep till morning and then we'll call it an episode. Oh. Oh, never mind. Well, maybe. Can I sleep at all now? Probably not. Trouble is now that'll start the dust storm in the morning, but oh well. Warning, tornado closing in. Find shelter. Warning. Oh, we're quite safe in here. Some special seeds with 
my remaining potatoes. We can make them grow quicker. Never grow fast enough. That's not true, but it's nice when they grow fast. Later on they grow so fast you can't even blink. <laughs> well, I'm exaggerating, but I'm hyperbolic. One more time without modification. Might be the last time because we should have a point to get modification before we have to plant another batch. I sure like having this thing here. It's ugly and in the way, but. Feels more right than using my fridge. Medium solar panels? What? Why not? Why don't I have medium solar panels? What's going on? What's stopping me? Oh, I need the workbench? No. Why don't I have... else is in place? The whole lower half of the tree is... Oh no, I see. I need these two. Ah, uh, so I still need the built-in accumulator. Oh, bummer. I need this first. Oh well. So we need one more blueprint before we have medium solar panels, so that sucks. See what energy saver it is then. I'll have to go get that blueprint before I come back because medium solar panel would be such a game changer. Alright, anyway, sorry I wasn't going to go that much longer, but <laughs> in the end it ended up being the right decision. going to call it an episode. Thank you for watching. This is Bad Player 3 aka Danimal Daniel Jobber. Make sure if you enjoyed this video that you punch that like button on my, because this will be on the YouTube channel. And um, subscribe if you would. And if you
if you want to uh, you know, give me any feedback, of course, you can apply right to the video, but you can also uh, follow me on Instagram under under uh, Daniel Jobber with a, uh, sorry, on Twitter, I should say X now, with, with Daniel Jobber with a capital D and a capital uh, J, so D-A-N-I-E-L-J-O-B-B-E-R. You follow me on Instagram at Danimal Daniel Jobber, D-A-N-I-M-A-L, D-A-N-I-E-L-J-O-B-B-E-R. And of course, you can always reply to the video, as I said. So, anyways, thanks for watching, and hope you enjoyed the new new content from uh, Occupy Mars. And we will see you in the next video. Sorry, job route.